Okay. Welcome back. To my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV on the PC. If you're still here after that epic eight-hour video last time, we are continuing on. We have finished A Realm Reborn. I mean, we got credits. That That's how you know. Um... And so what follows then is a series of <clears throat> bridging quests that bridge a realm reborn with the first expansion, Heaven's Sword. Or Heaven's Word or Heaven's Heaven Sward. I'm not sure exactly. Um we'll be getting to those. But first we're going to do uh, class quests. Starting with Scholar, because that's what we are. I went ahead and purchased some gear on the auction house. Um, just a lot of, like, level 50 stuff that bumped up my average item level to 77. I'm not really sure how those numbers work, but uh, I think we're in, a, in better shape. We have 3,700 health now. Alright, the Beast Within. Mang, you must come with me at once. Another Tonberry has emerged from the Wanderer's Palace. A traveling peddler caught sight of the fiend and fled to Camp Bronze Lake. Once again, it falls to the Marauder's Guild to find and slay it. This time, we will hunt the Tonberry in greater numbers, so that we might surround it and cut off all avenues of escape. I have not forgotten our previous attempt to slay one of the foul creatures. Nor have you, I trust. I have your assurances that you will keep your fairy in line this time, yes? Then let us make for Bronze Lake at once. Our comrades have already departed, and I do not wish to fall behind. We will run with them at the same place we battled the first Tonberry. You got it. After all that time last time of not doing anything really of note, we're back on our own. Where we're expected to do our own shit. Oh, <clears throat> that armor identification key that I got at the end uh, of that last quest. That gave us the Magitek armor as a mount. So, if I can just hit the mount roulette button here and it should pop out. Of course, it's never going to. It's never going to actually pop out now that that's the one I want. Uh, all right, fuck it. Uh, you've already seen it. You know what it looks like. We, we used it in the mission. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like. So it's something probably everyone has. It's not very unique, but there it is. We got level sync down to 50. Thank the gods you've come, Mank. Any later, we might have had to proceed without you. The Tonberry appears to be in some sort of trance and is oblivious to our presence. Is everyone ready? Excellent. Remember, we must surround the fiend, and it cannot be allowed to flee. My son, my dear son, stay away. I cannot. Damn it, not again. It seeks sanctuary inside the Wanderer's Palace. <clears throat> Come, let us follow and finish this once and for all. Oh, damn, we're going in there? Oh, shit. I'm coming! Uh 
There are more pressing matters at hand. Are there? Maybe I should, like, heal him or... Uh... No. Alright, I guess just keep going. Hexer. Hexer. Wanderer. Oh, he's going to be a big boy. Scourge of Nim. Secret of Nim. Take care of them. Don't worry. Everyone's grudge. Just die, man. Got him. Brilliant. Again. Why do you protect this demon? Heal the Tonberry Wanderer. Oh, shit. Damn, look at that book I got on my hip. The Rancor, it... I... Lily, my son, why are you here? Who has summoned you? I didn't even know Tonberries could speak. Then Nim, Nim is no more. Fifteen hundred years, can it truly be so? I am, I was Cerrito Carito before the sickness from the sea transformed me. The traitors, they were the first. As their ears and noses began to atrophy, their limbs grew shorter and their skin. We scholars tried to halt the spread, tried to find a cure, but in time we too fell ill. Sympathy turned to fear, and fear to anger. Monsters, they called us, abominations. Then, then you were once a man? They sealed the sick within the temple with magics, tried to drown us, tried to forget us. Though our bodies had been changed, our minds remained intact.
But within every man lurks a beast. When those whom you call kin deny you, come to hate you and despise you. I too succumb to the rancor, until you reunited with me with Lily, my dearest son. Long has my mind been clouded with hatred, but by the resplendent light of Lily at long last I am free. So he's not really a Tonberry. He just sort of looks like one. So wait a bleeding moment. That Tonberry used to be a scholar like you. So does that mean you'll turn into one of them if you keep slinging those spells? Or did I misunderstand what he said back there? Ah, the hell's with it. Why do I need his perspective? I came expecting to fight one Tonberry, not a whole bloody mess of them. If it wasn't for you and your flying friend, I reckon we'd not have left there alive. Gotta say, you and Alka make a great team. Shame there ain't more of you scholarly types around, because I could use a partner like you. Take care, man. I, I nearly killed him. Thank the gods that fairy stopped me. I wonder, did she know it was, just, it was Cerrito from the beginning, or was it only... In any case, she has regained a good portion of her memories, if not all of them, I suspect. Well, if you would excuse me, I need to take some time to put my thoughts in order and decide how I might explain this to the Axe Master. Oh, shit. Cerrito. Cerrito! That the tradition that my people have not been lost to the ages is of great comfort to me. I do not know how that soul crystal came into your possession, but I am glad that it did. For the sickness robbed me not only of my mind, of my body, but of Lily as well. The soul of the scholar no longer resonates with my ether. I cannot summon her. Only you can. Only you are fit to wield the magics now. Here, a gown as befits a scholar of your standing. I bequeath it to you, along with the knowledge of sacred soil, my most versatile art. I cannot thank you enough for purging the rancor from my heart. But there are still countless others who have yet to see the light. I cannot abandon them to their fate. I will not. So I bid you farewell, Mang. Carry on our traditions with pride. Okay. I, I gotta just... I gotta Google this shit. This concludes the scholar quest for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. In order to take, undertake the next year's quest... Must complete main scenario quest before the dawn. Okay, well, we haven't done that. Okay. Basically, <laughs> this sacred soil ability is used in like the hardest difficulty stuff because it lets you survive damage. It lets you survive attacks that do more damage and you have health, which only happens on the hardest difficulties sometimes. So for me, I'll probably never use it. Okay. Great. Let me just uh, swoop in here and do one of these. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that unlocked. Oh, the, the Wanderer's Palace. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, excellent. Oh, that looks way worse. I guess I sort of look 
like an explorer kind of scholar rather than a a frumpy library scholar okay i guess i can work with it can we die this no all right um and we finally replaced the brand new ring <laughs> go figure okay with that in mind though um we are switching over to summoner and we're still looking like that because i didn't buy summoner gear and we are heading over to new gradania to do some summoner quests Should probably just uh... you see a massive increase in the amount of XP needed to level up a million. So, yeah, we're not going to be racing through the levels anymore. Greetings, Mang. Though it is good to see you, I am afraid I have yet to ascertain Tristan's ultimate objective. I only know that he is cunning and brutal and will stop at nothing to achieve his purpose. As matters stand, we but chase after this man's shadow. Such a straightforward pursuit will, I believe, leave us ever one step behind. Our sole advantage is the treasure we possess that Tristan appears to covet. Eventually, his desire will bring him to us. Where and when Tristan will strike, I cannot say, but it is unlikely to be on a field of our choosing. Thus, I suspect we I suggest we prepare for this inevitable conflict as best we may. As fortune would have it, the runes of Mordona may have provided us with a new source of strength. Word among the sons is that a set of evokers attire has been unearthed. Made during the reign of the Allegan Empire, these enchanted garments were sewn for the exclusive use of summoners. You can only imagine the degree to which they will enhance your already impressive powers. The man supervising the excavation efforts at St. Quinox find, Rambrose, <laughs> is a dear friend of mine. In light of our circumstances, I am certain that he will consent to a request that you be allowed to don the attire. Shall we pay him a visit? We shall. Mordona, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. I don't know how useful uh, this armor set's gonna be at this point, but maybe one or two pieces of it. Oh, yeah, we can fly. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, and that music. Oh, God damn. All my dreams coming true. Look at this. This is fantastic. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Everything I could want. Ah, Yamitra. I suspected you would make an appearance before long. I presume this fine gentleman is the new summoner I've heard so much about. Yes, hopefully the first of many. Now pray tell me, Rambrose, has the discovery of Allegan made Evoker's attire been confirmed? It has. Truly a historic find. Then I would ask a boon of you, my friend. You recall the predicament of which I spoke. Our chances of survival would be greatly improved if you would consider allowing Mang to wear the Allegan garments. Hmm, well, he is a summoner after all. And I must confess to no small degree of scholarly curiosity as to the effect the attire will have on one with the appropriate training. These finds are, however, the result of much sweat and even a few tears on the part of our excavation team. It is a frustrating task at times, and I fear they will be loath to part with garments without some measure of recompense for their efforts. Allow me, though, to offer a solution. Metallic monstrosities of Allegan construction known as Mirror Knights have risen from the dig sites scattered across Mordona. Needless to say, they pose a dangerous threat to our excavators. I suggest you speak with my three field researchers and dispose of any such nasty hindrances to their work. I dare say they will then gladly surrender the pieces of the attire they hold. 
Once I have confirmed our dig site suitably empty of armored horrors, I will see you rewarded with the garment that I myself recovered from the ruins. Alright. Fucking flying mount. So good. And I don't have to grind money for decades. I don't have to complete, like, all sorts of uh, achievements and shit. A mirror knight lurks just over yonder. I can scarce think what's thing straight with that thing wandering about. Oh, gods, it approaches. I ain't afraid. You have my thanks. Now I might finally be able to concentrate on my tasks. If I'm not mistaken, you are in search of the Evoker's attire. I have one of its wondrous pieces right here. You are most welcome to it. Alright, it's simple. And yeah, the behemoth can fly. I mean, it's so ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Because they do have some mounts that can't fly. It's not like everything can fly. I don't know why you'd make the behemoth fly. But anyways. Fine with me. Praise the gods! Rambo said an adventurer would be along. Please, you must destroy that horrid construction. Destroy it, I shall. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Do that. 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 Done and done. Thank you for eliminating the source of my recent nightmares. I do not ordinarily stutter so, you see, but abject terror has that effect on folk. Now I hear from you, Mitra, that you have needed this Allegan garment. I should be glad to see it put to practical use, rather than shut away in some dusty vault. This little thing can fly, that's for sure. Mirror Knights. Yes, they have become quite bothersome. I would be most appreciative were you to eliminate the creaking pest that has been plaguing me of late. Can do. That's what I do, baby. Whatever you need, whatever you want, I will do it. I have no standards. I have no objections. I will do anything. Fascinating. I never thought I would be fortunate enough to observe a conflict against an Allegan construction at such close quarters. This has been a deeply enriching experience. If the price is to be my piece of the Evoker's attire, then so be it. So fast. Ah, the champion of my researchers returns. With the ruins now free of mirror knights, the excavations can proceed at a far more satisfying pace. Trembling in fear for one's life makes it astonishingly difficult to handle ancient artifacts that have a tendency to crumble into dust. You have performed a valuable duty for us, Mang. As promised, you shall have the summoner's garment uncovered by my own hand as your reward. Ah, yes. Yumitra mentioned she would await you at Apkalu Falls. Seems there is no doubt in her mind that you would succeed here. Why would there be? I don't understand why they don't have an Ethernet shard. Like... In right in here, why not have one right there? It would be it would be good. It'd be real good.
I guess I kind of like that the cities don't allow mounts. It prevents, you know, all that sort of clutter. So this was how the summoners of old were clad. Well, more or less. It is unfortunate the runes have yet to surrender the final piece to the suns. These garments, aside from the coloring, they are identical to the garb Tristan wore. He will find no edge against you through his equipment. When next you face that murderous cad, victory will be decided purely by who is the more talented summoner. To that end, it is time you drew on your experience of defeating the primal Garuda. Yes, her aura of fickle violence is palpable upon you. It is daunting to imagine an Eggie born of the Lady of the Vortex. Such unpredictable ferocity should serve you well. I will search for a suitably airy location in which to perform the austerities of wind. You, my dear summoner, must needs prepare yourself body and mind for the trials ahead. I shall be waiting. Alright, let me look at... Oh, oh! Improvements across the board. Except for the cloak, uh, the robe, but we'll get to that. Look at that giant fucking horn. I've never liked that part of summoners. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, and we're wearing, like, weird sandal thing. I don't know what you call them. All right, it's, uh, we'll have to see the, the chest piece, but. Austerities of wind. I sense Garuda's restless essence railing within the confines of your etheric channels. It is time we granted it release with the austerities of wind. Thankfully, I already have in mind a location that well suits our elemental purposes. You are familiar with the floating city of Nim in outer Lanasia. As you might imagine, the aspect of wind is entirely dominant in the area of those suspended isles. Pray make your way there as soon as you feel prepared. I'm quite excited to see this new Eggie. Yeah, I can, I can fly all up in the floating city of Nim. Ain't no thing. So good. That music. Oh my god. So good. Shall we begin? I assume that as this is your third such experience, you have by now grown familiar with the steps of the ritual. Thus, as before, I would have you concentrate on shifting your etheric balance. Imagine the energy within you howling through your veins, an incessant gale of screeching wrath. Garuda's essence will only be, be only too eager to harness those raging currents and shape them into a worldly avatar. Once Garuda Eggie has appeared, it falls to you to tame its fury. I assume this will replace uh, the first carbuncle. Damn, dude, I'm not pouring on the damage here. Neither is the Garuda Eggie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The fuck happened there?
All right, I think we got this. But there is some other eggy going on. There's some eggy business happening here. You learn how to summon Garuda Eggy. Not yet, I guess. Oh shit. Look at this. 50 stuff. Earth and Fury and Inferno. Hmm. Okay. In a cone. Okay. Anyways. Masterfully done, Mang. Garuda Eggy's power is now yours to wield. Your aptitude for the art of summoning has exceeded my highest expectations. I honestly could not have found a more valuable partner for my research. Let us return to Apkalu Falls. I'm sure you must be exhausted after this ordeal. Sure. Sure, lady. Probably look into this festival thing that's going on. See if there's see if there's mounts to be had. There probably is. There's like a kabillion mounts in the game. Actually, no. I think WoW's got them beat there, but there's a lot of mounts. With the addition of Garuda Eggy, you now command three powerful avatars. As you have no doubt realized, however, each of these entities has a particular role in which it excels. For Garuda Eggy, that role is unleashing magic to strike down distant foes. I must admit to feeling equal parts joy and apprehension at how faithfully the summoned beings display the original primal's volatile disposition. Experiment with your Eggy allies, and the most effective use of their individual abilities will soon become clear. With such mastery of the art at your disposal, I shall almost pity Tristan when next he chooses to confront you. Before that time comes, however, I will endeavor to pierce the mystery of his motivations. May your discoveries bring you new confidence, man. Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's Garuda Eggy. Okay, good, good, good. We still need to know in Kindle, though. So then you get the signature attack. Aerial Blast, which is just a big old fucking AoE. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. Mang, there's been a terrible accident. My poor colleagues at St. Connox find... St. Connox find. Murdered. The reports are confused, but they all mention the same black-robed attacker. You know as well as I do that Tristan is behind this massacre. He has indeed grown bold or desperate to commit such a brazen act. We should set off to Mordona at once and speak with any survivors. It may be that we can glean some idea of what that cold-hearted monster was after, or where he might strike next. We must stop him, man. All right, at once. Let's go. Any excuse to do a little bit more flying? Here we go. Alright, so Garuda has Aerial Slash, which is an AoE, and Slipstream, which is an AoE that does a continual AoE. Alright. 
Bara är jag i. Where am I? Where am I going? There we go. Yes, yes, I am absolutely certain. It was the same dark summoner whom Yamitra described to us. We were celebrating a recent find, the soul crystal of an elegant summoner, when a man in black robe suddenly appeared and demanded we surrender the gem. Naturally, we objected to this arrogant imposition, but he simply sneered at our refusal. The next moment, the world exploded into flame. Through a haze of agony, I saw him snatch up the snow crystal from his smoldering body and stride off toward the singing shards. That bastard slaughtered my friends. There was no warning, no negotiation. If the gods grant you the chance to exact vengeance, then I pray you show him the same mercy he avoided us. Another soul crystal. Yes, it makes sense that he would shift his attention to more easily obtainable gem. After all your progress, you would now make for a most formidable opponent. I must apologize for not sharing my theory earlier. I suspected that Tristan might desire the soul crystal you carry, but did not wish to draw any premature conclusions without sufficient evidence. I am at a loss, however, to explain why he seeks to collect more of these elegant relics. We shall just have to ask the villain himself after we corner him in the singing shards. Let us be on our way. Let's go... Look at that chocobo flying. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I didn't even know you could fly out of bounds like that. I was, I'm surprised. It scares me a little bit, though. I guess it's not, well, it's sort of out of bounds. I don't think you can get there normally. Look at this, you just fly over all this bullshit. And we're looking for... We're looking for... Oh, what is... There we go. Oh, shit. I have brought you the soul crystals, as promised. Hmm, yes. These appear to be authentic Allegan artifacts. Very well. I shall honor our bargain. From within these gems, I will draw forth the memories of the ancient summoners and the slumbering essence of an elder primal. All the attendant knowledge and power shall be yours. Elder primal. Yeah, I'm sure that's what we're about to fight. Ah! Oh, God's the pain. <laughs> Ah, the bumbling summoner and his incompetent lackey make an appearance at last. You think to capture me? Fools, I have orchestrated your every move. You have grown much in the art, that is true. But through the wisdom of the paragons, I now command the power of an elder primal. You made a deal with the paragons? And you call us fools? The Assians will never relinquish their hold on you. A small price to pay. If you could but feel the strength that fills my entire being, it is indescribable. I will use this power to annihilate the beast tribes and put an end to their insufferable rituals once and for all. The primals will rise no more. Hear me, demon king of devouring flame. Feed on my ever-burning anguish and be reborn. The culmination of my sacred duty is at hand. But first, there is one more soul crystal that must be mine. I will tolerate its wasted potential no longer. Alright. 
Elias. Elias, Eggie. Garuda Eggy bringing the heat. Is is it actually good or should you only ever use Ifrit? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, he's healing it. Oh, fuck you, dude. I didn't know I was supposed to kill the summoner. I guess that makes sense. There's a lot of waste of time fighting Belias. Feel the tendrils of darkness. Hmm. That's... Pr okay, he devoured its life force. And now he's casting Armageddon. Uh, which... Okay, I want to absorb my Eggy to become more powerful. That sounds like a good thing. I want to cast Armageddon. Bullshit. Actually running out of fucking MP. Got him, finally. By all the memories of Summoner's past, I should have been unstoppable. I will sear the disease of beastmen from the face of the land. Deprived of worshippers, the primal that tempered my weak-willed sibling will wither into oblivion. So I see my orders or records were accurate. Though it was buried deep in the archives, I but recently uncovered a report that described how you slew your own brother. He was corrupted during your ill-fated encounter with Ifrit, was he not? I imagine your superiors in the Immortal Flames thought it a mercy to conceal that inglorious detail. Once the soft-hearted fool had been tempered, there was no saving him, and thus I took it upon myself to expunge the stain of embarrassment. But my work is left undone. The primal, no, all primals must suffer for that insult. After I killed my brother, I found myself liberated, my vision clear. No deed was too vile if it promised to add to the power I required. How can you not see? I am the Sword of Vengeance, and I shall wrest that soul crystal from your blasted corpse. I think not, Cockbrain. Wow.
I wonder which struck the first blow to his sanity, the despair at his brother's tempering or the guilt from slaying his own kin. It is ironic to think that, discounting the means, our purposes were fundamentally one and the same. A summoner employs the savagery of the primals to conquer the primals themselves. Had Tristan approached us as an ally, we might have found ourselves aiding his cause. Alas, he chose to walk the path of bloodshed. Each vicious act must have pushed the man deeper into madness until, eventually, the lust for power and vengeance was all that drove him. The might of the primals carries with it a burden of responsibility and a measure of danger. I hope never to see you corrupted by the potent energies you wield, Mang. It's time we return. Let's do it! Making me run every time over to this spot. Why don't I just pick up one of these Ethernet crystals and move it over there? Oh, I would love to declare our troubles at an end, but I fear the Asian with whom Tristan made his bargain is yet afoot. These so-called paragons prey upon men and women who are at their weakest, speaking honeyed words to lead them down the road to destruction. In this manner, they seek to plunge the realm of Eorzea into chaos. It is reassuring to know that heroes like you exist to foil their never-ending schemes and foul plots. An outright war against the Asians looms closer day by day. Thus would I have you armor yourself with this last piece of the Evoker's attire. It was discovered at the same dig site whence Tristan seized the Soul Crystal, and the St. Coinox find researchers, grateful for your actions in bringing the murderous summoner to justice, insisted that you complete your set. One can never be overprepared when heading into battle against a paragon. Wear it proudly, May. Speaking of preparations... Were you are aware of the deeper layer of power hidden within your avatars? A technique exists that allows you to tap into the full potential of your Eggy. You must have seen Tristan employing this ability. During the final battle with the Dark Summoner, you would have heard a whisper emanating from the Soul Crystal. Still your mind now, Mang, and you will hear the voices of the ancient summoners instructing you in their greatest achievement. The true power of the Eggy will be yours. Nice. There you go, and Kindle. Yep, yep, before the dawn. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright, and we got the doublet. Alright, so that's, yeah, that's the that's a traditional summoner look right there. I, I, I guess I can dig it. I mean, again, the horn. Yeah, the horn. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's alright. Um, okay, and we got Kindle, in Kindle, not Kindle, in Kindle. So, it's a three-minute cooldown, but it's just a massive AoE, 350 potency, which is, um, yeah, I mean, it's like, like two ruins at once, so it's a pretty good AoE. Um, all right, so that's done. Oh, do we get a, we got a tire coffer. Okay. Can I replace this horn? Oh, no. I don't understand. Why is it just better? Why do they give me all this shit and then give me better shit? Okay, and it's like a darker shade. And it's just better. Alright, that's interesting. And I also got the Arc Ute. Which I assume is for... I'm 
unable to change. There we go. The Argute set. Oh, there you go. It's a blue little thing. Okay, but can I dye it? No. All right. Okay. Uh, anyways. That leaves uh, the, the next main story stuff. But I think since we have just a little bit of time here, I promised you... We would check out the gold saucer on camera, so let's uh, let's head over there for a little bit. All right, gold saucer, the gold saucer music. Um, it is glamorous, it is eventful, it is fun. A lot of stuff to do. Uh, here's where the yokai watch guy is. So that's why this is there's always like 30 people around him at all times um, Here's where you can claim your prizes With your tokens so I could get uh, uh, Well nothing really None of this is for any of my shit, but the blood sword. I mean that's a classic Final Fantasy weapon um, I don't know if I really recognize anything else. Heartless, maybe? Maybe I've heard of that. I'm sure all this stuff is from Final Fantasy games, but Blood Sword's the only one that's like, oh yeah, of course. Um, cosmetic stuff, bunny outfits, gambler outfits, all sorts of cosmetic stuff. Swine head. There you go. You can look like a Porky the pig. Uh, swine body. Okay. I mean, this is this is basically my real life body. I'm trying to escape into a fantasy, so I don't want to... I don't want to... Coxcomb? Oh, it's a turkey on your head. All right. Claws of the beast. All right, it's just like little tiny claws. Uh, anyways... Then there's uh, some stuff that teaches you new emotes. Uh, you can get a little black coral minion. That's a nice little cat. That's cute. The Adamantois whistle. This lets you get the Adamantois mount for 200,000. Uh, there's some barding for your chocobo. Fenrir mount for a million. That's if I win that that lottery. That would be great. Uh, and some stuff for your house. Colossus. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Um, here's the mini cact pot. Uh, I already did my three per day. I'm sorry. It doesn't reset till tomorrow morning. And uh, what else do we got? Over here is the triple triad section. So there's a bunch of uh, NPCs you can challenge and get their cards, um, as well as the tournament you can enter. This guy went 20 and 20. God damn. Then second place went 20 and 9 and third place went 20 and 20. How does that work? Okay, it must be some odd point system that I don't understand, but... Good job for that second guy, though. Damn. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. What else we got? Tickets for drawing number 2552 of the mini cackpot are now on sale. Test your fortunes. Make your way to entrance square. Isn't this... This is entrance square. I just... Did the mini cack pot. I don't know why they're saying it's now on sale. But, uh... Anyways, moving on. Uh, so, the gate activities are timed events that happen, uh, 
This is at 240, so this is in nine minutes. I don't think we're going to make that one. Um, but there are all sorts of different little games you play with other people. Oh, shit. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, <laughs> to win coins. There's other, like, little mini games all around the place you can use to win coins. They're very basic. It's just like a, a strength test. Boom. And then you get, like, ten coins. Yeah. There you go. So that's that. Uh, this is the fashion contest. So I think if you, if you enter that, they give you, like, a theme. And then you have to, like, pick pieces from your equipment and put an ensemble together that matches that theme and then they grade you i haven't tried that because i don't really have much shit what else we got this is the big event square where i assume some cool shit happens once in a while um Yeah, I'm missing some stuff here. There's uh, there's Mahjong, which I haven't done. There's Chocobo races, which I haven't done. And there's the Lords of Verminion or whatever, which is like an RTS or something, which I haven't done. I should probably do one of those things. I don't really know where anything is. I don't really know where Triple Triad and, like, the Cact Pot is. Uh... Shit. If only I could fly around. We'd find stuff no problem. No, that's not anything. It's just a pleasant place, really. Uh, let's try... Going up here. All right, what is this over here? Oh, this might, that's the jumbo cack pot. I already entered that as well. That's where you enter. You pick four numbers and they do that every week. So, fingers crossed for Saturday, win some big money, big prizes. No, this stuff is just for the gates. We are not interested in that. Where the fuck is the Lord of Verminion? How do I... Isn't... Don't you have some attendant around that can tell me... Where the hell to go? Information. Mm-hmm. Mm, Lord of Verminion. Minion Square, take the lift. Okay. I didn't even know you had a lift. Lift operator. Well, I haven't spent that much time in this place. Okay. Chocobo Square. Simcock. Order for minion. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I can just sit down and play. Order for minion. Gold saucer exclusive attraction. Pitch your minions against minions of others. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, million challenge. Okay, it teaches the game. Well, let's do that. Just crazy the shit they put into this game. Welcome tutorial. One on one battle, field an army of minions, shatter your opponent's arcana stones. Short pre battle phase, you can prepare your forces. Mm hmm. Got Blizzaria, wind up airship, and Hovernyan. These are minions that I have. Okay. You've su successfully selected a minion. It will now be placed into your summoning queue. Each minion has a summoning cost. Ranges from 10 to 30 points. Okay. Summon the same unit multiple times. Okay. Summoning gauge is capped at 60 points. You must be quick with your decisions, however, as this preparation phase has a time limit of 20 seconds. Oh, and you got WASD for movement. Okay. Battle has begun. Now up here on the field, you can give orders to these summoned minions and commence your assault on your opponent's arcana stones. Middle of three gates, like we do. Okay. Try summoning a minion from A. Alright, let's bring out Hovernyan. By summoning units from the gate closest to your intended objective, you can cut down your minions' travel time. Recast timer, determined by the cost. Mm. All right, sure. Summoning queue is now filled with ready minions. Minion will spawn each time the recast timer resets. Maximum of 10 minions can be placed into the summoning queue. Interesting. Left click, right click, yeah. And you can't, oh, you can draw a box. Damn, it is like a fucking RTS. <laughs> My God. Yep. Yep, yep. My goodness. My goodness gracious. It's the inside Final Fantasy XIV. Automatically initiate attacks against nearby enemies. Okay. Get to it. Uh oh. They're attacking my Arcana Stone. Get the fuck away from the Arcana Stone. This guy's not fucking up what he needs to be fucking up. Baby Behemoths. Monster Critter, pop it. Okay. Monsters are strong against critters. Critters are strong against poppets. Poppets are strong against monsters. Final type gadgets are neither strong nor weak against any type. Behemoths are monsters. Strong against critters. They have an area attack. Oh, shit. Alright, go fuck them up, I guess, even though you have all sorts of disadvantages. minion is capable of executing a special action group together four minions of the exact same variety you have to have max action points select individual mention 
Okay, let's select one. Execute action. Choco shuffle. Boom. I see. Send it back to your gate to heal. Oh, behind the gate. The summoning area. Yep. Cover HP, blah, 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 yada, yada. And teleport to another gate instantaneously. Okay. Boom, look at that. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Go destroy the crystal. They don't move too fast. Oh, Lord. Yep. Yep. They are attacking. There can be no doubt about that. Okay, well, not all of them are attacking. Total HP. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wanna you wanna join this attack? You don't seem like you wanna participate in the attack. I mean, maybe it is, but the animation isn't. I don't know. Mammoth 001 is strong against Arcana Stones. So much more quickly. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they have... I don't think they show animations for everything. It just does damage. Okay. Try directing this group of Cherry Bomb against your opponent's shield. Oh, there you go. It's destroying the shield. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That allows you to destroy stuff quicker. Scatter it completely. It's getting riggedy wrecked. Gone. Interesting. That's crazy, man. It's just crazy. And I got 5,000 MGP for doing that tutorial. Plus 150. Damn. One step closer to Adam and Toys. All right, and there's also Chocobo races, like I said, and Mahjong and probably other stuff. Um, it's just a fun little place to just not worry about any of that combat or nothing stressful going on here. It's a nice place. It's a giant golden Chocobo. Wonderful. All righty, we'll leave it off here. Next time, we're going to dive into the bridge quests, the, the, the post... ARR quests, whatever they're called. Should be fun times. My name is Mang. Game watching has been Final Fantasy 14. See you fine folks in the next part.